and thank you for watching Guitar 101 Rammstein. Uh, about four or five months ago, I started making my own picks, uh, primarily copper picks, and I've been selling those on my Etsy page. So this is part of the reason to do this video. It's uh, I put it up on the listing on my Etsy page so people can actually hear a demonstration of it as opposed to just seeing something that looks pretty. Because um, there are some picks out of copper metals and different materials that look really cool but the playability of them I found to be totally lousy and I'm not the only one that thinks that way if you look up videos on them but there's some when they're designed right that are very interesting and unique uh, they change your tone that's what I like about them so uh, you know I started out doing like a traditional kind of Tortex shaped pick out of copper did different finishes on them I have another video on those just like the process and um, then I started, I'm working with other designs and materials. So I've got like the Jazz 3 style shape, uh, different gauges I'm using because I, I hand hammer them. I don't just cut it out, uh, file it down, sand it down, all that good stuff. Um, recently I made some picks out of bone. This is from a pig bone. And that hole in the middle is where the marrow is normally. And it actually works out very convenient to get a nice grip on it. Um, I'm limited to the size of the bone I have, to the size of the pick, so these are more like a Jazz 3 shape. Uh, they're smaller, you know, than a traditional size pick, but I found them actually very comfortable. I actually recorded a whole song with them the first time I tried them out, and I was very happy with the results. I've also made them out of, this is a Wuhan crash cymbal that was cracked, so made them out of cymbal. Uh, and this is the recent one. I just made a prototype for the first time yesterday, and I made a couple today. And that is a copper thumb pick. Um, and I looked it up. I couldn't find any like videos of copper thumb picks. I did see one being sold on Etsy. It was pretty expensive. And just looking at the design, it looked ridiculously hard to use. It was very thick. And I, with a harder material like copper, I found it has to be pretty thin and sort of a beveled, tapered edge. So you don't get a scratchy sound like if you're using a a coin or something like that. Um, so yeah, the more I experiment with the stuff, the better I feel like I'm getting at designing them. Um, so I'm going to play a couple examples with um, using a standard Tortex. This is like my go-to pick. And uh, just a quick riff or lick, and then I'll play it the same thing compared with uh, one of these other picks. So we'll do like um, with the Tortex first. Try one of these jazz three style copper picks. And I don't know if you how well it's picking up on the camera, but it's definitely a big difference in tone for my ears. Um, this gives a more of like a mellower, softer tone. It's pretty nice. The plastic pick, after getting used to these, sounds almost like harsh to me. Uh, Will I use this all the time in playing? No, but there's certain situations and certain tones I want to get where this is like a really helpful tool. Uh, back to the Doom or the Tortex. And let's go with the bone pick. See, that's a bit sharper, a bit brighter tone, but not as harsh as the the plastic. Plastic. Ah. All right, and mm. plastic. Let's go to this uh, pick made out of symbol. Definitely hear a difference. Now for the thumb pick. Uh, disclaimer, I am have very little experience using a thumb pick. I'm pretty crappy using them, so I have to play just some easy stuff with it. And since this is a thinner copper, I do hammer it out just to give it that nice texture. I'll put pictures because, I don't know, the light is pretty funky today. Um, it's a thin copper, 
and I hammer it to, because copper work hardens. That means the more you beat on it and bend it and stuff, the harder and firmer it gets. If you anneal it, that means heating it up to really hot heat, let it cool, it gets soft again. Um, so I hammered it so it's not too weak in bending around and it holds its shape good, but you can bend it and you'll be able to, that's what I like about this idea is it'll fit your thumb. Because I have, I was just watching some videos on thumb picks and this guy was reviewing like five or six different ones. He had one I think from Planet Waves. He couldn't even demonstrate it because it wouldn't fit on his thumb. Because it's usually made out of plastic and it is flexible, but you can't bend it and reshape it. So this will fit custom to your thumb. And it takes, for me, it's hard to get used to playing. I have to practice using a thumb pick. And I mean, when you're, it's on your thumb, so it gives your fingers freedom. Like, that's a thing I do like about them. And you can actually just grip like that to hold it and use it like a normal pick. So we'll compare that again to a plastic pick. All right, and um, I mean, it, if you're using an acoustic guitar, it's also a very noticeable difference. You can use these on banjo as well. Uh, a lot of people do use thumb picks for banjo. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a banjo here. Uh, it's on my to get list, though. Um, so, yeah, that's the difference of these. I have one listing where I'll make them custom ordered and then I have quite a few I've made that I'm going to put up so you can just buy it now uh, the different styles of these like bone picks the copper ones etc um, and for the custom ones you can see different finishes I put on them as I'm listing the stuff I'll do variations with different patinas and different looks to them um, you know the patina is just for aesthetic reasons it doesn't change the sound at all and I do coat them when I put a patina so the patina doesn't just wear right off, otherwise it will. Um, the natural copper ones, however, they will develop their own natural patina over time, the more it's you know, with age. And if you don't like that look, you want it nice and shiny, you can clean it right off. And you can use Brasso works good, or even ketchup, coat it in ketchup and rub it off. Let, let it sit for a while and that gets sharper, nice and sh copper, nice and shiny and new again. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Um, I have been making a lot of stuff. We're on lockdown again, so I've got more free time. And I've been really busy in the workshop and in my studio. Um, making everything from jewelry, uh, copper bracelets. Um, a new knife I made, a kitchen knife. Pretty happy with it. It's from like, it's from spring steel, a leaf spring. So it's like a, probably 5160. It's a hard edge or hard blade and it holds an edge and it's very sharp. And I'm, I'm happy with it. So I'll be making more knives as well. Um, I think the biggest, the hardest thing I have with doing this Etsy page is just listing the stuff. That takes a lot of time. You have to take the photos, you have to write out the description, figure out the pricing, the shipping, all that stuff. So I kind of lag on that. I have a ton of stuff I'm going to be putting up with over these next weeks because I'll be making a lot of stuff too. So make sure if you check that page out to favorite it, follow it, whatever. Um, so you don't miss out on what I'm making because I have pretty wide variety of stuff I'm doing. Um, so yeah, that's all these picks. I'll have some of them up by the time this video is up. So if you want to order one, go for it. Um, and that's it. If you have any suggestions or experiences with picks from different materials, uh, let me know in the, the comments below. I'm interested to hear about it. I have some other ideas in mind I will be doing in the near future. And like I said, I have some more time now, which I'm keeping busy still. I'm off of work for now, which is cool, and uh, that'll hopefully allow me to do more videos in the near future. Till next time.